Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to seven questions with Emmy. I'm Emmy Eaton and today I'm chatting with Colin Mockery. You've probably seen him on Whose Line Is It Anyway? He's a very talented comedian who's been in TV shows, movies, and he's been making people laugh for decades. Colin, it's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, and I love your introduction. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Should we get started with the questions? All right. How did you get into comedy? Um, well, when I was um, in high school, I was very shy and uh, very quiet. I was, a, I was a very good student. I would go to the library every uh, week and take out like seven books. And I read a lot. And a friend of mine dared me to try out for a school play. So I did and I got it. And I got my first laugh. And that was pretty much um, everything else was gone for me. <laughs> I thought, this is what I want now for the rest of my life. I want to make people laugh. So um, I've been planning to go into sciences and I quickly changed over to drama and did the long, slow ride to where I am now. It's like the best feeling when someone laughs while you're performing. It is because it's so, I mean, when you think about what you laugh at, it could be totally different from what your friends laugh at. And so to get a, a room of people to laugh at the same thing, it, it does feel like quite the accomplishment. Yeah. Question number two, what do you do when you tell a joke and nobody laughs? I blame the audience. <laughs> uh, I just keep, you know, just keep going on to the next joke or make a comment as to, oh, well, I thought that was going to be funny. And um, obviously I have to bow to your um, standards and I'll just try to raise them a little bit. But you just, uh, the beauty of this business, you just keep going no matter what. Can you tell me about your most embarrassing moment on stage? Oh, it's so hard because there's so many of them. <laughs> Just, I mean, you've seen my career. Like okay. your most embarrassing. Um, I was doing a play. I made my first entrance and my pants completely split up the back. Not only like just a little hole, but right up the back so that um, it was like, the pants were like two flaps were going like that. So I had to do the scene almost like a penguin. So that was embarrassing. I'm pretty sure people noticed. I kept trying to say, no, no, it's just no one will know. But yeah, so that was pretty embarrassing. If you weren't working comedy, what do you think you'd be doing for your job? It's very difficult for me to um, think of something because I have no skills at all. The only thing I can think of um, and this would be a high-end thing. I could be a chef. I do all the cooking at home. My wife um, was never, um, I mean, she cooked for so we could survive, but she never enjoyed it. And we were living in Los Angeles. I didn't have papers to work there. So I decided, oh, I'll do the cooking. And I loved it. And so, um, yeah, I, I could be a cook in a restaurant. Have you ever been to Idaho, and what's your favorite way to have a potato? You know, I, I'm trying to think. I have been to Idaho, I'm pretty sure. My favorite kind of potato are scallop potatoes. Cool. I, love, I love onions and just the, uh, and the sauce and the potatoes and the onions. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with a potato. Yeah. Right? French but, fries. We should just make a whole book of all the kinds of potatoes. Yeah, French, French fries. fries Mashed potatoes, baked, scallops. Oh, yeah. And even like just with mash, there's so many different flavors you can add to the mash. Like from and it's all good. Fries. Yeah. It's the perfect food. Yeah. What's your favorite junk food? <laughs> My favorite junk food. Well, I mean, I'm a big chocolate person. Does that qualify as junk? But I'd have pizza. I, I would go pizza. Yeah. Can you hear a piece of advice that might help me in my life? Um, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll give you something. Here's what I, my thing always is. Um, just be nice to people and listen to them. It's something, um, one of the rules of improvising is, um, it's something called yes and, and it means you listen to what people say to you and you sort of um, accept that and then work on to make the scene better. 
And I find people always say, how can you improvise? It's so hard. It's difficult. It's not. It's only because we, in improv, you do things you don't tend to do in real life, which is listen to people and accept their ideas and try to make them look good in the scene. So try to have a positive outlook. Try to accept people's ideas. Of course, you can't accept everyone's ideas because some people's ideas are, let's face it, not good. <laughs> but at least listen to them. Um, I find people tend to, you know, sort of block what you're saying immediately without actually listening to what you're saying. Okay, are you reading my mind or something? Because we actually have a game to play with you, and it's called Yes And. Yes, I was reading your mind. That's my second choice as a career. Like you say everything that is related to the next question. You exactly. are literally reading my mind. I, I am. Okay. Okay, do you want to start or should I start? Um, I can start. Okay. Should we, um, should we get a suggestion or something, or just, just go for it? Just go for it. All right. You know, it's a, such a beautiful day today. Yes, and it's going to rain later. Yes, and luckily we'll bring something to protect ourselves from the rain because we're smart. Yes, and we can't have our picnic today. Yes, and we could have it indoors instead of outdoors where it's going to be dry. Yes, and there won't be nature outside. And, well, inside. Yes, and that is absolutely true, unless we decide to paint some pictures and make it look outside, inside. Yes, and we don't have any paint. Yes, and we can make edible paint from our picnic food, like the dips and the condiments. Yes, and we have no ketchup. Yes, and that is good because I'm allergic to ketchup. Yes, and... We also have a bunch of mayonnaise. Yes, and mayonnaise is the perfect condiment because you can use it in everything. Everything from hamburgers, hot dogs, and mashed potatoes. Yes, and I don't like mayonnaise. Yes, and you're smart not to like mayonnaise because mayonnaise has said bad things about you. <laughs> yes, and I make 500 bologna sandwiches with mayonnaise so I can get rid of it for you. Yes, and that is the sweetest thing anyone's ever done for me, to make that many bologna sandwiches to get rid of the mayonnaise. Amazing. Yes, and it doesn't fit my house. Yes, and that's why I bought you a new house, so you can make as many sandwiches as you want. <laughs> See how easy that is? Well, I've also been in place before, so. Oh, okay, so you're a pro. Should we play one more round? If you wish. Yes, okay. and. Okay, should I start? Yeah, you start. Okay. Um, my parents are watching this. <laughs> yes, and they are incredibly supportive. You're so lucky to have such great parents. Yes. Yes, and. <laughs> yes, and mom is very important to the family uh, structure. Yes, and so are my brothers. Yes, I and the entire family are so important to how we see things in the world and how we have that sense of community. Yes, and my dad won't let us get another member in our family like a dog. Ooh, I don't want to get involved with this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is outside of my wheel. I, I can't get involved in family politics. <laughs> yes, and I agree with both of you. Uh -huh. important. Yes, and you should convince him to get us a dog. <laughs> yes, and you can make a dog out of uh, socks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what are you thankful for? Um, I am I'm thankful for so many things. I'm, I'm thankful for my wife and daughter because um, uh, they fill my house with love and they support me and... Um, uh, make me feel good about myself. And I'm thankful for a show called Whose Line Is It Anyway that came along and took advantage of the only thing I can do in my life <laughs> that um, I do well. So, uh, and all the people on Whose Line who have become uh, close friends. I know you interviewed uh, Ryan Stiles recently. He and I uh, grew up together in Vancouver. So I've known him for over 40 years. So I'm thankful for him because he also introduced me to my wife. I don't so, think you're that old. I 
think I'm slowly falling in love with you, Emmy. <laughs> well, I think that I think you're 22. Like, like yeah, let's like go with Ryan. that. Yes, and yes, yeah. and I am 22 in dog years. <laughs> dog years. Okay, I want you to tell me a joke to make me laugh. Let's see if you can make me laugh, and please, and then I can make you laugh. Maybe. <sighs> well, I'll tell you a riddle. Okay. Okay. Oh, so am I supposed to do the joke? Yeah, first? yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so horrible because all the jokes that are going through my head right now are, may not be appropriate. Okay, so this, <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing. This can't be right. I must have a joke because I'm a comedian, right? But don't say bad word. Oh, no, no, I, I totally understand the rules. I, I will follow those um, two. I, and you know what? That's something I, I tend to do anyway. I, I don't um, say bad words a lot. My parents saw Ryan Stiles' show. Oh, he says bad words all the time. He is a bad word. <laughs> all right. Here's my joke. <sighs> a man walks into the doctor's office and goes doctor i'm 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 in great pain and the doctor says what do you mean he says well it really hurts when i do this and the doctor said oh okay don't do that <laughs> I, I i have to say emmy i panicked i panicked it's not my best joke I th I thought I had a dog joke somewhere. It just wasn't coming to me. Okay. So my riddle is. Okay. So there's a cheetah. Yep. There's a giraffe. And there's yep. a monkey. And they're okay. all racing to get a banana from the coconut tree. Who will win? <laughs> I'll say a giraffe. No. Because you can't get a banana from a coconut tree. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. and remember what I said earlier about listening to people? Yeah. I immediately stopped listening after you said banana. <sighs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It was lovely getting to talk to you. It was even lovelier getting to talk to you. All right. And you know what? I'll, um, I'll work on your parents to get that dog thing happening. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics. Why are you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy?